symptom wise almost the same flu like symptoms ubo lagnat si pontrang ka so but yun si sabi niyo yung gano kabilis siya magtransmit no so actually sabi nila okay so based on the census that we have itong ano nga itong covid 19 the fatality rate so when you say fatality rate sa mga nagkaroon ng sakit na to, ilang porsyento ba yung gumagaling? Ilang porsyento yung namamatay? Actually, the fatality rate as of now is very low. Mm -hmm. no? As compared to sa mga MERS na yan, it's just 2%. Mm -hmm. What does that 2% mean? Meaning to say, of the 100 na tao na mahahawa with this infection, 98% nga actually they spontaneously nag-recover. Mm -hmm. Bakit spontaneous? Kasi this is a viral infection. Mm -hmm. For almost all viral infections, it is self-limiting. By sabi natin self-limiting, hindi ako inom ng mga antibiotics, hindi ako inom ng mga amoxicillin or whatever, gagaling. Provided you have a very good immune system to start with. Dapat maganda yung resistensya natin. But since you've mentioned that, Doc, sino ba yung at risk dito sa COVID-19? Okay. For any diseases, especially for this COVID-19, extremes of age, no? Pag sabi po natin, yes, tama kayo, no? Mga mas mababata at saka mas matatanda. So, they are at risk. Sino pa po? Those with underlying comorbidities. Pag sinabi po natin comorbidities, yes, meron siyang underlying na hypertension, diabetes, sakit sa kidney, or any other diseases. Cancer patients, okay? So, mas bagsak ang resistensya nila. Yung immune system nila, mas hindi maganda. So, pardon me, may ignorance, Doc, no? But, uh, let's say, as a lay, as a lay person, okay. ang, ang, ang understanding lang namin is, uh, any person na mababa ang immune system, could catch a viral infection, is also at risk of uh, dying. Yes, diba? tama po kayo so what dyan. Would, what would this COVID, why, why would it be special among the other viruses that it's so it's so talked about now? Okay. Some would say, kasi ang dami hakahaka eh. Some yes. would say, that mabilis siya mag-transmit as compared to others. Mm -hmm. Ganun ba ang kaso, Doc? Okay. Bakit siya naging parang something hype na ganyan, no? Because it's something new. So, lang na yung mga tao ngayon mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. social media, parang... They create, na yes, parang na, na hype siya, they are parang creating false or wrong Infidelic. information oh, oh. and then mabilis siya mag-spread like wildfire. So, parang to clear things up then about the transmission, no, I think for the past few talks, so we've been talking about it eh, dun sa mga past few weeks, transmission niya, meron kasi tayong number na ginagamit, yung RO, so it will tell you how fast itong sakit na makakakalat sa iba. Parate kong binibigay na isang example para may comparison tayo, yung measles, yung tig dust. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The value is around 15 to 18. Meaning to say, ang isang taong may tig dust, meron siyang potential na ikalat sa mga 15 to 18 na tao. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But surprisingly, actually, itong COVID-19 is just around 2.4, 2.5. Meaning to say, one person na infected with this infection, mga tatlong tao lang yung Kahawaan. Kapag when we're talking about mga gantong mga virus na ito, ano, yung like mga tung COVID-19, mga how long, mga how long should we expect na anjan siya? Yes, this is an example of ano kasi emerging and re-emerging na infections. So we cannot say yung timeline, no, na how long siya magstay here as a new outbreak or what. But still, actually, siguro din thanks to travel ban. Things are medyo naging mas quiet na right now as compared to the issue for the past few weeks. But nakokontrol na nila. Nakokontrol. In fact, nga we have to be very thankful because we have a very robust, no? Maganda yung ating parang pagkokontrol surveillance unit until now for the positive cases, no? Na confirmed cases. Three pa lang din naman eh. Hindi naman siya nadadagdagan pa, no? So knock on wood. So I think it's something new. Wag naman sana. So we're fairly doing quite a good job actually. So, how long will this last? So, sabi natin, things are getting quieter right now, but it does not mean that we should let our guards down. Yes. So, still, we okay. should be parang careful pa rin. Mm -hmm. We should not be complacent. Still, we have to prevent it. Very simple. Hand hygiene, cough etiquette. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Like it.